Hello, friends. Welcome back to episode six. I am feeling so good this week after coming off of two refeed days this weekend. And again, having the diet break pretty recently. In fact, I started feeling better over the weekend. And so I was able to kind of push my training a little bit harder on Saturday, which felt really good. Uh, and then I was so sore that I ended up taking an Epsom salt bath after to help with recovery. So that was super nice because I feel like before the diet break, I was feeling the effects quite a bit and wasn't able to push myself as hard as I normally would. And I remembered like, oh yeah, I like being able to, to push every so often. So some exciting things to talk about with you guys in this episode. As I think I mentioned in an earlier episode, part of my goal for this prep is to have a photo shoot done at the end. It's been a while since I have done a fitness photo shoot for my brand and my physique is just going to look a lot different than it had than it did my last photo shoot, which maybe I'll post some pictures here. That was around 2020. Um, so it's time to get things updated. Uh, I also am planning to do another photo shoot coming in summer of this year, summer 2023, um, probably in July. And that one is going to be more of a like business and me as a whole type of photo shoot rather than just focusing on that fitness component of who I am. So I'm also going to post some pictures over here to give you kind of a vibe and some inspo of what I'm thinking for this shoot because uh, over the next month, I'm going to be starting my shopping for this photo shoot um, to get some of the like dresses and things that I'm envisioning that I would like to wear for it. I It's very like, uh, the feel of it is very flowy. So you'll see some of these images have that just like flowy type of feel. I I, I keep saying feel. I feel I am very much more in tune with the flow of my own process, with my emotions, with my spirit uh, over these last couple of years than I've ever been before. And so I guess to honor that, I am envisioning this shoot coming in the summer to be, you know, near the water, which reminds me of like flow. Um, it's going to be in these like flowy outfits. Uh, I very much see myself as a light worker as well. If you never heard of that, I'll leave a definition if there's even like an actual definition for that. Um, but I want to capture that essence of, of the work I do to elevate others and their vibration, their emotional health, their spiritual health, their mental health. You know, physical health, like fitness, these things all relate, but specifically over the last couple of years, I've really prioritized my own mental health and self-care and spirituality. And so this photo shoot is going to kind of um, help bring that part of me to life, bring it to, to fruition and be a um, kind of catalyst for the branding I'm going to be doing in my business for different offers that I have coming up. So very exciting things. Fitness photo shoot, business photo shoot. To honor that, I wanted to share this little guy with you guys. You can kind of see. It's not done yet. This is a painting I was working on this past weekend. And again, in the last couple years, well, since like 2019, so more than a couple years, but I have gotten super into creating vision boards. They have been so like pivotal slash monumental in my journey of just 
you know, in my goal setting and in becoming the person who I desire to be. It's something I've used personally. It's something I've used with clients. And so over the weekend, you may have seen me post on Instagram, but I shared that something like switched in me overnight. And I felt like my whole world had shifted. I went from feeling like tired and dull to this like, um, I, I guess I can use the word supernatural, like shift of seeing myself from higher perspectives of like who I was becoming in my local community and my online communities, you know, who I was becoming from a fit, like physical fitness type of perspective, um, who I was becoming in relation to my family and my friends group, just like everything across the board. And so as I was having these like visions come to me, um, it started with like putting them to paper and kind of noticing like the threads and the, the words that were really speaking to me on paper of like what kind of image is associated with this word and which of these words really like light me up. And it's like, ooh, like that's it. That's, that's the vision and, and that's the feeling, right? And so as I was doing that, I, you know, chose which of those images and colors and things really spoke to me. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. And again, it's not done. I still have more to add in all over here and probably even just throughout the whole piece, I'm going to add more to it. But I wanted to share with you guys because I think it's really important to, you know, be clear with who you are, who you're becoming in the direction in which you want to take your life. Like, yes, don't over plan and become obsessive and like um, micromanaging and, and planning like every little detail. But I definitely think like having direction um, and a vision so you can kind of see the signs and respond accordingly to move in the direction that you desire. I think that is really important. So I thought that would be fun to share with you guys and maybe get the wheels spinning for you and maybe creating a vision board. And it doesn't have to be like, you don't have to paint. You can maybe just write things down or maybe you create something digitally online there's people who, you know, cut things out of magazines and kind of piece it together. Um, so which in whichever way really speaks to you, I would definitely recommend doing that. The next thing I wanted to chat about was I've been really feeling into the idea of slowing down. This has been a theme in my life the last couple of years, absolutely. But more so recently, I've been feeling like I've kind of allowed myself to start putting more back on my plate and speed back up in terms of like fitness and business, which has been fun. But also, I feel like I miss the details when I put too much on my plate and things can start to become more of a blur. And for me, like when I get to the end of this lifetime, I want to be able to look back and feel like rich and full of the memories that I have created. And I think personally, if I put too much on my plate, that the vividness of the moment kind of loses its shine. And so with that said, one of the things that, one of the habits that's kind of crept back in that I, I mentioned as I've started putting more on my plate was my caffeine intake has naturally increased to try and like keep up. And this is actually something from my past that I definitely, I guess abused is, is an appropriate word for the situation. I drank a lot of caffeine <laughs> from like 20, 15 to 2016, you've heard me talk about in previous episodes how 
I had phases where I pushed really hard in my dieting and with work and with fitness and just so many things on my plate. I would drink, you know, a coffee in the morning and then an energy drink early afternoon and then I'd have pre-workout before I went to the gym in the evening. And that lasted for like a couple years. So that was, you know, when you're young, you, you just live and learn. And so I just noticed in my mind and like, I guess physically too, I was feeling like I have been here before. Like I'm in this mental space. I've been here before. This is the place where I'm like getting to a point of using too much caffeine and I need to cut back and just put enough on my plate where I feel that natural fire within that is giving me energy to go after the things that are in alignment for me rather than trying to keep up with anyone or keep up with doing more than what's needed or what I have capacity for currently. Um, kind of like getting ahead of myself. So I say all that because I am going to start looking into a non-stimulated pre-workout. I love the effects of pre-workout. I don't have my pre-workout next to me right now. I thought I did. I love the effects of pre-workout and I do still want to do a review on the pre-workout that I got a couple months ago. It is, it does have caffeine, um, but there are just so many benefits to using a pre-workout. So I want to continue doing that, but I want to take the caffeine out and at least be able to have days where I take pre-workout and it's not caffeinated. And then maybe on days where I feel like I really, really need it. I'll do a caffeinated version. This is just a reminder that, you know, caffeine is a very powerful drug. Although it is legal, make sure to respect the use of it um, because it can, ha it can take a toll on you over time. If you have any pre-workout powder that you take that is non-stimulated and that you recommend, let, it, let me know, I was gonna say link it for me, or just let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear um, what you're currently using and loving. As far as the dieting front, this week is exciting. We are at our next full week of weigh-ins, so I will be giving you guys an update as we get further into the week, letting you know where I'm at on that, letting you know where my kind of average is sitting for all of that, and I'm excited to see how things are moving along. Lastly, related to this whole vision board and kind of what I'm calling in in 2023, what I'm claiming, I just feel like big things are coming. Like as I was creating this, and like I mentioned, I posted on Instagram that there was this kind of overnight shift. Um, the program, I've been talking about the group coaching program, it is here on the vision board. There's a subtle teaser of it for you. I am just so excited for the offerings that are coming through for me, for you. Serenity is kind of pictured here, which you have probably seen if you're following me on Instagram. Uh, this represents Unleash Your Potential, which is my signature offer that I've been running for two years now. Uh, there's some other things on here that are going to be making their debut in the next few months. And I'm just so excited to share those things with you guys. So excited to continue getting to work. I've been telling you guys in the last few episodes, my work is just ex exciting me so much right now. I am just so supercharged by the vision and I love the creative process of like, putting all of the pieces together behind the scenes. So I'm going to be working on that today. Um, because I've been working so much, I have been sitting a lot. So I'm about to go out for a walk just to kind of get moving, help my hips to get loose so they're not so tight from sitting. And I'll catch you guys later this week with another update. Let's talk meditation. A lot of this series so far, I've been focusing on, you know, showing you guys kind of my thought process behind my nutrition, telling you about how I'm navigating my fitness and my training. Um, 
you know, and you've had some glimpses into my lifestyle, but I really have not touched very much on how meditation makes up who I am, how I navigate the world, and really has just like changed my life over the years. I talk a lot about mindful movement in my lifestyle. I, I believe to move in alignment with your best self, your highest self, you definitely need to be moving mindfully, taking into consideration what's best for your body, for your mind, for your spirit, emotionally, all of these things. It wasn't until really like this week that I started to understand how much meditation has changed my life, how much it has been a gift to me, and how much it has empowered me. And now I feel the need and the desire to help you experience the gifts of this practice and again, become empowered to embody your essence and move in alignment with your best or your highest self. Uh, so this kind of came up this week because I went to this meditation spa day last night when we got into the meditation portion of the event the question was asked like who here has never meditated before and almost every single person in the room raised your raised their hand and i was like whoa like it was just very interesting to be in that energy of like being a complete beginner at this practice because I was there so long ago. I still, like every day that I sit, I am a beginner at the practice. I definitely believe that. But also like, wow, remembering who Courtney used to be when she was beginner meditator is like, I haven't thought about that in a long, long time. My like consistent meditation practice, I would say started in 2019. I dabbled with it and was aware of it back in like 2015 and 16 and started sort of like dosing it into my lifestyle, but not on a consistent basis. And so like I said, 2019, I, I began sticking with it more, 2020 even more, 2021 and onward, like pretty much daily. The biggest thing that meditation has given me and I'm not telling you like what you're going to experience exactly because I think that's the beautiful part about meditation and life is it gets to be what you make of it but the biggest thing for me has been gratitude and empowerment and that's why I continually go back to it because just like fitness when I first got into fitness over a decade ago now it was so empowering to me and that's what like got me hooked and now that's why I reached to meditations for the same reasons really just understanding how much your thoughts play a role in creating the life that you desire you know, that's what has led me the last couple of years to focusing more on that aspect within my coaching than fitness. Like fitness is a beautiful tool for self-discovery and empowerment and self-realization. However, I always was like the mental piece. Like I know that matters most. And so... You know, if you go to my podcast, if you're new to meditation, my podcast is a beautiful resource for you to start your meditation journey. I provide guided meditations um, centered around, you know, practicing more gratitude in your everyday life, affirmations to remember who you really are, visualizations to visualize higher versions of yourself, um, just a variety of meditation practices that have served me really well over the years and that I continually practice to this day and that would be a great intro for you if you are new to the practice. Again, not telling you exactly what you're going to experience but just how meditation has kind of opened up new doors for me, if you will, over time. Um, really reminding me the biggest thing is like 
the empowerment piece, reminding me of who I am and my power. Not seeing myself through the lens of other people, but really like drowning out all of that noise and standing firm in who I be at my core and moving from that place. Uh, not letting the distractions get in the way and yeah, just cutting through the mental chatter that disrupts your focus of who you're becoming, who you are, and you know, whatever like hurdles block your intention of precisely where you want to put your focus. That's the biggest thing for me. And I wanted to share this because it has absolutely improved my uh, fitness journey. I feel like so much more focused and like I said, in my power throughout my fitness. That's kind of like a glimpse into it. So I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of background because alignment is not just like you know, getting on the uh, the right fitness program or training program and doing the movements to help you squat X amount of weight or whatever. Like, it is mind, body, spirit process of, it's hard to like put to words exactly, but it is a process of living the realization that you are your own hero you are the creator and the writer of your own story and it gets to be exactly what you desire that to be and like it gets to be so fucking fun it gets to be so badass it gets to be so beautiful it gets to feel so good and that is like so inspiring and so empowering in and of itself to get to that place where your self-realization to self-actualization is just like making shit happen. So good. Uh, so I hope that's helpful for you to just kind of see a little bit more behind the scenes or like through my lens of how I've gotten to where I am. So yeah, that's my bit on meditation for this episode anyways. If you have questions about meditation, about mindful movement, about living in alignment, drop those questions below. I'd love to uh, answer them for you guys. And I like, yes, this event yesterday that I mentioned was very eye-opening to me of how I get to further step into my power, embody my essence, and give back this gift of meditation and also fitness, which is why I am doing this series right now um, to help empower more of you guys and to live your motherfucking dreams.